What's up, everybody? Ben Razi here for Stochastic Talk and a little Genesis Invitational specifically with the values. Who are the salary savers? Who are the guys in the bottom half of the range that we can put with the superstars and maybe pay off some salary, maybe be a dark horse winner, which happens every week now? Uh, we're going to look at that today. First things first, I want to welcome everyone to Stochastic All Things DFS. We got you covered. If you like what you see, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. If you're looking for more in depth analysis of the Genesis, full strategy show on this very channel find that it's me again breaking it down every salary range but here i want to just get into the salary savers and yes i am cheating a little because 7400 is more mid-range than salary savers more value but you know what it's my rules and it's a 70 man field give me a break uh hideki matsuyama at 74 is too too good to ignore the guy's making cuts uh again this is a 70 man field with 50 and, and ties plus 10 shots of lead so making a cut is not the achievement, but 22nd at waste management, 13th at farmers, elite long iron player. The guy's got a green jacket, and I have seen people comp this to Augusta. I get it. Riviera is a full all around test. When you look at that and you look at Decky's game, I think he's well suited. Uh, numerous, numerous appearances here and a mixed bag lately. He's actually been pretty poor here, and it's been mostly because of the putter. But he's got a fifth, a fourth, a ninth, an eleventh over the last decade here. Decky can play. There's no doubt about it. Uh, when we look at him, and again, I'm on our data hub right now, all part of one of the many things that you can get uh, with these pools, whether you're using Sims or lineup generator, or these type of things, or you just want the data. I'm going to move the leverage actually over to the other side of the screen. This is what I like about this. You can kind of customize how you order your, what you want to see. And Decky grades out perfectly even right now. We'll see where that updates as we get closer to lock, but I'm comfortable with that. Doesn't grade as negative leverage or anything like that. The price is right. 7,400. Let's get it started with a Decky. Easy play. Again, if you don't want to call him value, that's fair. But for me, I really like the spot for him. Uh, and I think that he's going to be someone that we don't want to ignore uh, in this field. So, we're putting Decky on the board as my first value play. Let's get right into the second one. Again, I'll talk about what we've got going on in Discord and what that in just a second. Let's get into the second one because it's my man Grio. Emiliano Grio. $6,900. Uh, the guy, he doesn't love Genesis in the past, but is he the same player? Is this a new and improved Grio? Well, I've watched him play golf for many years, uh, and it's been pretty simple. He's an elite iron player. Ball striking is not a problem. And he's one of the worst putters and worst around the green game you can have. But lately, putting has been an asset. He has been one of the better putters in the second half of 2023 to start 2024. Now, the short game, the around the green game is still terrible. That's a problem. When I look at it, he's lost in five straight there. Uh, and it's all every event in 2024, but he's gained strokes putting in four or five in 2024. He gained six strokes on the approach in Phoenix, came in 22nd. I like Rio in this setup. He's $6,900. He's in a pretty open range. He grades out with positive leverage. He's got a good ceiling. When you get going with him, if he keeps it in the fairway out of the thick stuff, he can pepper greens in regulation here. Don't have to lean on the around the green game. He can make putts. He can make putts. This guy can roll it. I never thought I'd say that, but he's proven it time and time again. I look at this and I'm pretty damn comfortable. He got some reps in at Farmers and Pebble Beach, same surface. All of that checks out. Rio is a guy that, you know, he can be your last minute. If you go balanced, if you go very aggressive, you're probably going to have to dig even deeper. But I, I like this spot for him. I, I think that this is a guy who's very, he's not even sneaky. We'll see where the ownership comes in. He just grades out very favorably. And when I look at his course history at Genesis, I don't think it tells the full story. Uh, it's not something I really weigh heavily anyway. But, you know, the missed cuts and whatnot, all of that were the irons. I think he'll be fine here with the irons. I see no reason why his, his irons can't do the job at Riv. He's got three par fives to attack. Got to keep it out of the thick stuff because, again, the more he scrambles, the more at a disadvantage we are. He's not a good around the green player. And I honestly don't think Barring a random outlier, that's really going to change. Um, kind of is is the weak point of his game, but he's addressed the putting. The irons were crisp last week. Let's translate it, put it together. We'll have a good showing. A $6,900 Grio is a buy in this spot. Before I give you my last value 
uh, as we go deeper in the range. I do want to mention again, we have tools ranging from the Sims to lineup generator, this data, Discord. A lot of people, they say, I, I just want to talk through things. I want access. I want to be able to work on my process with a, a like-minded community. It's all there for you. The links are below. Find the package that works for you. Give it a test. Whether you're coming in for the week, you say, I want to come in for the month. Test this stuff out before majors. Uh, major season is going to be here, and you don't want that to be your first time using this stuff. See what it's about. See if it fits into your process. If it doesn't, no harm. You know, we 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 absolutely believe that these tools are really really a path to success. I use them every week. Couldn't be more excited about them. Uh, but we want people who want to use them to give them a try. We want to make sure they're available to everybody, and they are. They're here. If you have any questions, you hit up. Anyone on the stochastic team, we're happy to walk you through it. Uh, but let's get to the last value. Luke List. Our man, Luke List. A theme is developing here. And no, it's not a theme of me just picking absolutely guys that have tilted me for years. That is kind of part of this, not going to lie. But Luke List is a player who's got the skills and he doesn't have the around the green game to match it. Uh, he's done that for a long time. This is a guy who's won now on the PGA Tour a pair of times. And I talked about this in the strategy show. Farmers is a good comp. I see it. I see it. You gain with the putter there. Ball, lean on the ball striking. That's a Luke List formula. And he's another one. He's gained in a whopping 0% of, of events around the green in 2024. But he's gained in five of six. Uh, his last five of six off the tee. Last five of six on the approach. He's putting his hit, hit and miss. That's what we're going to get with Luke List. I would sign for hit and miss. Uh, Genesis results, hit and miss. Missed a couple cuts lately here. 29th last year. Insane 11 strokes gained on the approach, and he lost seven strokes putting last year at this event. That's bananas. It's all part of the Luke List experience. He's here. He's 6,600. That's a pretty damn good price. You've got Svens in there. you got the big cat. Obviously, Tiger is on the screen. Lucas Glover, Taylor Moore. Then it drops off a cliff. There is room here for Luke List shares. If you go off the tee heavy, if you go ball striking heavy, you get a big boost to a guy like this. Now, if you weigh around the green and short game, you shouldn't go near your lineups. There's no doubt about it. But you can mix and match in this range. I think you can do those bomber attacks. I like Luke List as a value play this week. He grades out pretty favorably. The leverage is negligible right now. We'll see where it comes if there are more updates. But right now, as it stands, Luke List, one of my preferred mid-6K mid, mid 6K options. I'm going to call him to make, again, when I say make the cut, everybody should be making this cut. It's it's very easy to make this cut. Um, you got to play pretty poorly not to. But getting through is getting through. And I think he will give us 72 holes. And I think he'll give us an opportunity to outscore some placement points. And he has an outside chance to grab a top 20 or something like that, which would really pay off this tag. Luke List as my third and final value of the week. Again, go check out the strategy show. Go get inside the ropes here at Stochastic. Most importantly, let's cash some tickets this week. I want to see lineups that are on the top with the logo. Uh, and when you do, make sure to tweet us. If you have any questions at all, at JazzRazDFS. And I appreciate everybody tuning in. It's going to be a fun week of Genesis. Anytime Tiger Woods is playing golf, that's a good week. Uh, for the PGA Tour and a good week for us as fans. So for me, for all of you guys, let's have a great week. Enjoy the Genesis, and I'll talk to you guys soon.